I am Dr. Regina Joseph. I am a physician and uh, I have done my graduation from St. John's Medical College and post graduation from uh, Bangalore Medical College. I have been practicing as a general physician for the last three decades. Now I have been practicing as an aesthetician in Splendore Cosmetic Clinic, Bangalore. Uterine prolapse as we all know it is most commonly seen in women after the childbirth when it is a precipitated labor or it is seen in the perimenopausal or postmenopausal age group as I mentioned it is because of the loosening or the strength is lost because of the hormonal imbalance the strength of the vaginal ligaments the uterine ligaments are weakened out to cause uterine prolapse the uterine prolapse can be an hindrance to an individual in a long term it can come in the way of their day-to-day -day routine life in their sexual life pattern also and a long term it can come in the way of their bladder disturbances also and sometimes they're more prone for the infection so here in uterine prolapse the cases which can be dealt in cosmetic gynecology is about the mild cases of uterine prolapse which can be treated by laser treatment and IFU treatment where this lasers or probes are injected into the vaginal wall and this also causes neovascularization and improves the blood flow of the vaginal walls thus it helps in strengthening the vaginal ligaments and uterine ligaments thereby withdrawing or the prolapse can be held up so there is no further descent of the uterine into the vaginal wall so it helps in a greater level in preventing or rather treating the uterine prolapse again as i mentioned as lasers are given it is a day care procedure it's an office care procedures which is given for about 15 to 20 minutes in a session of 6 to 8 or sometimes about 8 to 10 sessions of patients do require this laser treatment which helps in neovascularization day care procedures there's no downtime no surgery is required for the patient and is also very economical package unlike the patient need to go through the surgery spend long time and recovery time is very long for those kind of patients here in this case where when we give laser for the mild uterine prolapse we found excellent result and it is an you know magnificent result for the patient i can say because patient don't have to stay in the hospital and you know they have any medical disorders for which may be an hindrance and they could be delayed home daily and that also can be a problem to the patient in a recovery period so overall when the laser is given for the very mild uterine prolapse is found a phenomenal or significant improvement in the performance of the patient